Hey, welcome back to the Gospel Music Training Center. This is JP. Jonathan Powell, thanks for tuning in to another video tutorial. Today we're going to be doing part two for the song Place Called Victory. The last time we covered this song, we only had enough time to cover the take one side of things, which means that's for those of you who don't have a bass player. So you're playing left hand bass and right hand chords. Now this is going to be focused on take two because the amount of information and the chords and everything um, is just going to have to take up this whole week's lesson just to dedicate to those of you who have a bass player. So we're going to get into the two hand chord voicings. And this approach is going to be more closely related to how the record is actually played from the keyboard perspective. All right. So we're going to be in the key of G flat major. Also, we have the lifetime membership for those of you who see yourself with us in the long run. Give us a call at 877-856-4187 and inquire about that. Press 7. That's for those of you who are looking to be with us for the long run. And there's a lot of great benefits to being a lifetime member. All right, so we're going to be in the key of G flat major. So G flat is the one. A flat is the two. B flat is the three. Now technically you would call this C flat. Because when you, when you talk about the scale, you want to keep things in alphabetical order. But we're going to make it simple and just say B. That's the four. All right, so. D flat is the five, E flat is the six, F is the seven, and then we're back at the one, G flat. So that's our number system and scale for the key of G flat. So the first thing that we're gonna do is start off with this intro, and the intro goes from the flat seven, two, five, two, one, one. All right, so in time, it's like this. Okay, and then we're gonna hit bam. So that's the bass. Flat seven, two, five, two, one, one. That's what the bass player will be playing. So the first chord is gonna fall on the flat seven, which is the E. So what we have is we have a couple of chords. We have an A flat minor to G flat major. You're gonna play those first before we get to the chord on the actual flat seven, which is this. This is when the bass player comes in on the E bass, when you get to this chord, okay? So, we start off with an A flat minor chord, E flat, A flat, and B. Then we go to a G flat major chord, G flat, B flat, and D flat, okay? So, A flat minor to G flat minor, and then we're gonna go back to A flat minor in the right hand, but when we get there, we're gonna be playing E flat, G flat, A flat, and B in the left hand, and then that A flat minor chord in the right, which is A flat, B, and E flat, okay? So it's like this. And you can use G flat as a grace note, like that. Welcome back, this is take two. We're gonna be picking up the rest of this song. I hope you have mastered what we've already covered in take one because we're building and finishing up the rest of the song. All right, so you should already know we're in a kid G flat major, it's no mystery. Um, if you're jumping in a take two, and you didn't see take one, you're missing a lot. So make sure you check that out, all right? So we're gonna continue with the song. So after we come out from that flat seven, whoops. So that's the flat seven to the two to the five, right? After we come from there. We're gonna go to this, okay? So we're going to be going from the flat six, six. And now we're transitioning into the next part of the song. OK, so um, after that, let, let me rewind. So bum, 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 bum. OK, this is where we left off in take one. one. So that's, we're going from the flat six, or you can call this the sharp five, but we're going from the D in the bass to the E flat. So it's like this. Okay. Then B flat B, three, four. Okay. Back to the D E flat. Seven, one. Back to the three, one, four, okay? And then seven, 
six. So it's a lot. Not too much, it's not hard. Um, the biggest thing is that you're gonna be playing this rhythm while you're doing this, okay? So, um, and that's not hard because you're not really playing nothing with the left hand at this point, like before, okay? So we're gonna start off with this lick. Ba -ba -na -na. So that's B flat, B, D, F. Ba -ba -ba -ba. And then that takes us to this diminished seven chord on the D. So we have D and F in the left hand, and then A flat, B, D, F, and A flat in the right. That's on the D bass. And then, boom, then we hit this E flat minor chord. So I have E flat and G flat in the left hand, and then B flat, E flat, and G flat in the right. So, ba 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 ba. Okay, so Okay, so now So we have D flat, G flat, A flat, and D flat. Back to the rhythm, okay? With the G flat sus too. Then we go to the three, four. And that's not the right voicing from the three, four. That's it right there. So on the three, what we have is D in the left hand, and then A flat, D flat, and G flat. So on the three, that's the B flat bass. D in the left hand, A flat, D flat, and G flat in the right. Then we go to the B bass. E flat, G flat, and A flat in the left hand. B flat, D flat, E flat, and G flat. 